What's wrong? I don't know who I am. What do you mean? You're Rita. No, I'm not. I don't know what my name is. Mulholland Drive, David Lynch's neo-noir thriller about how car accidents make everything confusing, is jam-packed with hidden facts that'll blow you away. Here's some trivia that'll change the way you watch Mulholland Drive forever. One of the central mysteries in the movie is the consistent appearance of the red lampshade. When fans noticed this in the film, they were strongly divided over what it symbolized. But in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, David Lynch put the debate to bed, saying the lampshade was a symbol for dinner. It's been a very strange day. <laughs> Getting stranger. This scene was especially hard to shoot because the film crew had to go around to every individual house in LA and ask them to turn their lights on. Could be someone's missing, maybe. Here's something interesting. The only reason this guy was struggling with this luggage was because he is weak as hell. According to people on set, the trunk was completely empty and only weighed three, maybe five pounds tops, and this guy was just pathetic. Does the man behind Winkies look familiar to you? Well, it may be because he was immortalized in a famous 2001 Got Milk ad in Sports Illustrated magazine. And here's a pretty amazing look behind the scenes. Ever wonder what the man behind Winkies looks like when you wash the grime off of him? You'd never believe it, but he actually looks like this. Come on, it'll be just like in the movies. David Lynch is known to create bizarre worlds in order to say something about reality. Like in this scene, where he creates a place called Winkies Diner to show that places in the real world serve food too. I had a dream about this place. Lynch also employed his typical Lynchian cinematography, creating haunting visual dreamscapes by putting people in cowboy hats. Another testament to Lynch's dreamlike filmmaking style is this scene right here that draws upon the classic dream everyone has where Naomi Watts kisses an old man. Well, there it was. <laughs> For this scene, the script specifically says that man is not supposed to spit out his coffee after he drinks it. But the man kept doing it so many times, they eventually just let it slide. It's not a recommendation. Here's something pretty cool. The man that was hired to take these shits never showed up on set, and Naomi Watts was so fed up waiting for him to arrive that she took the initiative to take those shits herself. Now that's acting. Someone is in trouble. Something bad is happening. Here's something interesting. Nobody knows who this lady is. She just showed up on set one day and started talking like this. David Lynch put the footage in the movie because he was worried the film wasn't long enough. No, I banda. There is no band. Lynch included this part of the film because he had just taken a Spanish class and wanted to showcase some of the new words he had learned. Silencio. Lynch originally filmed an entire three-hour movie about the adventures of miniature aunt and uncle but then decided to cut most of it and just left this scene in there. Just forget you ever saw it. It's better that way. Naomi Watts was ferociously criticized for pulling out her off-brand Rubik's Cube to play with it during filming. Lynch only noticed it during editing and couldn't afford to pay for reshoots, so he had to make do with it. Kill the lights! Well, that's all the trivia about Mahalan Drive I've got for you today. Hopefully now you know more about what many people believe to be one of the greatest films ever made. See you next time!